Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji. In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, lookup tables and how they work. So, uh, we are going to focus on a sliding door. And let's say in this case, we have four sizes, but consider that it could have been like 15 sizes, right? So instead of creating 15 items, we're going to create it once and use a lookup table from Excel in a comma separated format to create the whole families at once. So let's say these are the dimensions, these are in inches. So uh, if the nominal of the door is five foot, the actual width is not 60 inches, but it's 59 and a half. Uh, so what I want to do is first I want to create the table from scratch, right? But let me show you where, it, uh, where it's located in Revit. So this is my Revit. If, if I open a new family, it's going to be a door and I'm going to go with Imperial. I'm going to go with door. Okay. Uh, and uh, this is a door family. Uh, I will create the framing and everything. So I want to get rid of this framing on this side. I want to raise it and this one on the other side. So this is the door. If I go to parameters, you see that it allows us to manage lookup tables from the family types and we can import one and now you see that the format that it accepts is CSV files. These are comma separated files. So uh, I have a file in here but I want to start a new one from scratch in Excel so you know how to make one. It has to have a specific format. So how about I cancel this, leave this for now in my Excel, I want to open a new file. Okay, and uh, maybe I can make a save as. Uh, I'm going to name it as like door. And I want to change the type to CSV file, which is uh, comma separated. Okay, so it's not going to be an Excel workbook or if you open or have an Excel workbook, you need to save as in CSV format. So I'm going to go with this. Okay, uh, so in the first column, leave the first one blank. And here, let's say if I have four door sizes, five, six, seven and eight feet, I want to just put one, two, three, four here. The actual, uh, actually items start from column B. Right. So the first one is the nominal size. Right. I can go with uh, nominal. How about I go with all capitals here? Uh, so whatever parameter I make here in the lookup table is going to be in capitals. The parameters that I create in Revit, they're going to be in a small letter. So that's going to uh, change them. Uh, and in the nominal, I want to say the first one is 5 foot, 6 foot, 7 foot, and 8 foot. But actually, this is not the correct format for lookup tables. The correct format for lookup tables is the name of the parameter, two hashtags, the type, I'm going to turn off the uh, caps lock, it's in length. Right, it's five foot, six foot, seven and eight foot, and hashtag again, and the units, which in this case is feet. Okay, so the parameter, two hashtag signs, the type of it in this case is length. It could be a text, a yes no parameter, or anything else, and feet. Okay, so uh, what I want to know is, for instance, for a five foot door, the what's the width? Right, and uh, you figure out it's just uh, the value in inches minus half, right? So it's 59 and a half, 71 and a half, and so on. So for the first one, I want to go with the width of the frame. So let's go with capital letters, width underline frame two hashtags, it's in length, length, two hashtags again, and it's going to be in inches. Okay, so this is going to be uh, 59 and a half, 
71 and a half. Uh, you can also use formulas, for instance. I want to go with this number multiplied by 12 minus 0.5. And I want to extend this. So this is 83 and a half, 95 and a half. Let's double check it. So 59, 71, 83, and 95 and a half. That's all right. So we need to do this for all the other ones. The height is fixed. It's 80 and 3 eighths, right? So the next one, uh, let's repeat it to make sure we remember it. Uh, height, underline, this is the height of the frame. Notice that we also have uh, width and height for the panel and width and height for the screen. The screen and the panel are located inside the frame. So, uh, and I'm going to need two hashtags here. This is also a length. Make sure your spelling is correct. Make sure you have two hashtags and inches, right? And for all of these uh, column, all four items have the same value, which is 80 and 3 eighths. So I'm going to go with 80 and 3 eighths. So it's going to be actually 80.375 and I'm going to extend it. This all good. Okay. Uh, how about we start just with this and then I'll discuss the rest of it. So I'm going to save this file. In my Revit file, I'm going to go to the family types and this is where you can import your lookup table. So I want to go with import door, it's comma separated file, open, uh, encounter the sharing violation. So I need to close my Excel file. This is my Excel file, I, I have saved it, I'm going to close it. Let's say OK, import again, open, and OK. If you have any uh, format problems is going to show you an error. For instance, if you have one hashtag instead of two and you need to fix it. So let's say OK. Uh, I'm going to say OK. So this is all good now. Uh, I'm going to close ceiling plans. I always do that. So whatever we work on is on reference level. Uh, and I want to also have my exterior view. Feel free to put the two views, reference level, and exterior side by side using WT. I want to go to units, UN, and I want to make sure that my length is set to inches, three decimal places, then I want to change it to custom and go with four decimal places. Unit symbol is inches, this is all good, OK, and OK. So, what do we want to do now? We're going to relate this width to the width that we had uh, in the table, right? So the way it works is that, let me open the table again now that we imported it. It's not going to show any, uh, any more errors if it's open. So the way it works is that I wanted to read these two numbers from this column. So I want to define a parameter for nominal. Uh, and I want to say that relate these two items to the nominal of 5 or 6 or something, right? So let's get back to here. I'm going to define a new parameter. Name it as nominal. And I want to go with small letters, capital letters in the Excel files, small letters here. I'll leave it as type. Uh, I'll leave it as whatever it is. OK. So you know, you see that nominal is added here. If you don't like it here, you can go to edit and put it, for instance, in some other location, like in other. And it's going to move it to the other uh, category here. But I'm going to leave it on dimensions for now. So how about I uh, click on it and go to edit and bring it back to the dimensions group. So I'm going to go with dimensions. OK, now it's up there. So what I want to do right now is that I'm going to say for the width, check the size from the lookup table. So size underline lookup table. Which lookup table 
quotation mark door with capital D exactly as you named your Excel file. Which parameter you want to read? We're going to read widths of the frame, so feel free to copy that parameter, not the hashtag or anything, just the parameter name. A quotation mark again because it's a name. Then you need to put a value. So if it does not find a value from the Excel file, it can assume kind of a uh, default one. So 50 is going to be our default. And then I'm going to say follow nominal. So I want to put nominal here and hit tab. So what happens is that for the nominal zero, we didn't have any nominal zero. We had five, six, seven, and eight feet. Uh, that's why it didn't find any value. So it's considering 50 that we assigned here. Now, if I change the nominal to five feet, it's going to go with 59 and a half. If I change it to six, seven, or eight, it's going to go with the values on the column C. So see if I put six foot, seven foot and so on. So you don't need to import them one by one. Uh, if I put nine foot, we had no nine foot dimension over there. So that's why it goes back to 50 inches, which is the assumed number. So I'm going to put it on 50 feet. Uh, so same thing with the height. So let's try it again. Size underline lookup. You can, of course, copy and paste and change the width frame only, but let's write it so we can remember. Door is the name of the Excel file in the comma separated format. Uh, what I want to look up this time is the height of the frame. So quotation mark height of the frame. Let's go, for instance, for 60 and let's go with nominal. Hit tab. And now you see it automatically changes that to the value that we gave to it. I'm going to say OK. And we can continue the rest uh, in the next video.